In this video, I'm gonna give you five ways that you can actually get more out of your H4N Pro. Stick around, because you know what time it is. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's John, and I do tech reviews and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do and hit that bell icon too. But now let's just jump right into this. So the H4N Pro is a really fantastic audio recorder. I've had mine for a couple of months now and it is one of the best investments I've ever made for this YouTube channel. And one of the things that I'm quickly coming to learn is that there are quite a few things that you can do with the H4N Pro that you can't with other recorders. So I'm gonna list them out here in my top five things you can do to extend the use of your H4N Pro. Number five. Okay, this is quite a simple hack. What you can do is get a battery power bank and one of these cables here. I'll put a link down in the description, but basically you'll be able to power your H4N Pro using a battery power bank. Now the advantage of this is that you don't have to have batteries with you at all the time. And generally most people have a battery power bank with them for their phones or for their other devices. So having one of these around and one of these cables will just mean that you'll have hours and hours and hours of use out of your H4N Pro. Number four. Okay, this is quite handy for those people that are set up in a studio like myself. I've got these two little adapters here. Now what these are, are for a tripod mount. So this one here will actually attach to a hot shoe on a camera, and this one here will attach to a stand. So what you can do with these is attach them to your H4N Pro, and then use the adapter to connect them to your camera or a microphone stand. So now your device is safe and secure, it's off the ground, and you can also pointed in the direction of where your audio is. The other thing that you can do if you want to be really tricky is grab one of these little hot shoe mounts. Now this has a little ball head in there, so what you can do is actually point the H4N Pro at any direction that you want. How awesome is that? Number three. Not all of us use XLR devices, so this little gadget here is an adapter to convert an XLR connection in the bottom of the H4N Pro to a 3.5 millimeter jack. So what that means is that you can connect, say for example, uh, several lavalier microphones to your H4N Pro and have sort of a little studio interview thing going on. So that is a really cool addition to your H4N Pro. Number two. So this is something that I use generally with all my videos a three and a half mil, three meter cable. Now you might be asking, well, what are you gonna use that for? Well, great question. What you can do is you can output from the headphone line jack on the side there. And what that will let you do is output the signal straight into your digital SLR if it has a three and a half mil input. So not only are you recording directly into the H4N Pro, but you're also recording directly onto your camera's SD card. Number one. Okay, this is where I've found the most use out of my H4N Pro. And that is, on the back is a microphone input, which is a three and a half mil port. And what I have running here is an adapter cable straight to a Rode SmartLav Plus. So you might be asking, well, why aren't you recording straight into a mobile phone? Well, that's a good point. What I'm doing is I'm actually using the gains and the preamps inside the H4N Pro to produce a better sounding audio. So I can control things like levels and so forth with the H4N Pro where unless you've got a specific app on your iPhone or Android phone, then this can be a little bit more difficult. So now instead of having to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a professional lavalier microphone setup, I've actually got a great sounding audio quality coming straight from these devices. Now there are tons of other things that you can do with the H4N Pro that I haven't mentioned here today, but these are my top five. And I think that for myself, these are the best uses for the H4N Pro. Do you have your own hack that you do with your H4N Pro? Or do you have a question about one of the things that I've done here? Then leave me a comment down below. If you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting the channel. 
If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, then make sure you do. And if you are a subscriber to this channel, then make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I release a new video. Like the video, share it on social media, and as always, imagine, learn, create.